Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, I was noticing that some of this, uh, like that right there, is turning a little purple. Now what I've heard, what I've researched, is that when it turns that color, it's low on phosphorus. So I just threw two more small handfuls of the fertilizer in it to see if we can alleviate that problem. And I'm going to put about another shovel full of dirt, just dirt, in the bottom of it. The research that I've done on growing a Zola uh, in tarps like this, and this method that I'm using, and this seems a very, very common method, is uh, about an inch of soil in the bottom and that helps the azola it helps get uh, micro nutrients that the azola needs like iron and copper and magnesium and all that stuff and it gets that from the soil um, most of the uh, people that do it used uh, manure and either a chemical phosphorus like I'm using or they used a compost and made a slurry out of it and put that in the water. We don't have a ready supply of manure so we're just going to go fertilizer all the way and I'm going to kind of experiment and see uh, if it had enough and I've now put too much in it or it didn't have enough. So we'll give this two or three days here to see what it's going to do. I forget exactly how many days it's been since we've taken half of this out. I think it's been five. And, uh, or six, I can't remember. But it's, it's grown back in now. It's, it's tight in there now. And in fact, it's folding on top of itself here, down on this end. I did pick up some tips from watching those videos. Uh, whenever they transfer into a new pond, they crumple it all up uh, and make small, uh, smaller pieces out of it. That way, it'll replicate faster. And I'm trying to think of a way that after we harvest half of this out, uh, perhaps we should just uh, wait, wait around in there and, and crumple up the remaining to get it to replicate faster. I don't know. It's something that's crossed my mind. I don't know if that's a common practice or not. But hopefully within three or four days we can get another one of these built down in the field down there. I've seen all kinds of ways that they do, all kinds of ways that they make shade anywhere from... <laughs> green plastic uh, Mountain Dew bottles to palm fronds to screen uh, there's all different kinds of ways to make shade but it does have to be shaded this only gets let's see it, most of that right now is in the Sun I would imagine if the Sun goes down another for another hour it'll all be in sun and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon so that's going to get about three hours of uh, direct sun not overhead direct sun but direct sun and it's going to get two hours because it, it'll hit those trees right there and, and begin to shade it again um, really excited and hopeful uh, about this uh, Azola as a feed replacement and I have another one as well as soon as I set this camera down I'm gonna make another video on uh, something that I knew about but in my old foggy brain just didn't remember and uh, this man reminded me and uh, kind of explained the successes that he, he is having doing it. 
and so I'm going to start doing it again. Bottom line is, is I, we have uh, with 99% certainty solved our feed problem here. I'll have to buy very little commercial feed from here on out. I can feed the chickens and the pigs with what I'm going to be raising here on the farm. Uh, it's a big, uh, a big weight off my shoulders and my wallet. Uh, I would much rather uh, spend the money employing people than uh, spend the money to buy sacked feed. So stay tuned everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.